One of the best things about the Lowcountry is its abundance of outdoor activities from kayaking, surfing or swimming to inshore, offshore fishing or really everything in between. One of those in between activities is spear fishing. Jeff Eidenberger, owner of Carolina Dive Locker, talks about the details of getting into the sport. Spear fishing is fairly popular here in Charleston. Uh, you have a lot of folks who like to uh, consume fish. Um, they may not be so good at, uh, they, they call it fishing, not catching for a reason. Well, spear fishing, you actually point your instrument at the fish and you take it through spear fishing. Uh, we also collect lobsters here. So there's a lot of things for the, uh, the sportsmen to get involved with in diving as well. This isn't the type of fishing where you can just walk to the water, cast a line and go. No, because this also, of course, involves diving. And there are certifications that come with that. Of course, basic certification, but we also have some classes in spear fishing and underwater hunting. You also have to have a saltwater fishing license to spear fish. Go to SCDNR for regular fishing restrictions based on the time of year and other factors. As far as diving classes, they are available all year long. We use an indoor pool to do our confined water, and then we have sufficient wetsuits that we can dive year round in Charleston. You may not be as comfortable in the winter as you would in the summer but we can dive year round here in Charleston and we also take some trips to some of the uh, more uh, exotic locations. Getting certified in diving is a must before you go spear fishing, but once you do, it's a safe activity. It, diving can be very safe as long as you're properly trained. So the first certification that you can do is actually just discover scuba and that's what David and I did this morning is we introduced him to scuba, we taught him a couple skills and we took him on a short tour around our training lake so that you could see what it's like to actually scuba dive. As Jeff just mentioned, News 2's David Dixon actually took one of the courses and he'll explain the science that goes into scuba diving in the coming weeks on Moment of Science. But for this week's Hunt, Hook and Cook, I'm Brianne Welch.